If y'all don't start commenting and sharing and subscribing, it's going to be me and y'all. Yeah. Stop playing with me. Comment. Hello, my fault. Go to the video. Hello. some of that loyalty. What's up, y'all? It's your girl, Neek G, the host, and today I'm back with another reaction video. Before we go any further, make sure y'all like, comment, subscribe, and share this video. You dig what I'm saying with the goddamn hair, your league. So, um, my DeGeezy, story behind the music, Ote, my biggest song I never made a, never made a dollar from. Oh, damn. Oh, nah, that's crazy. <laughs> okay. Two, two, what's good out there in you? So, <laughs> this will be the first episode of a segment on my channel. Again, Lovable in Disguise is out now. That, this will be the first episode of a segment on my channel. Ma, don't mind me. I'm watching the finals like you probably doing too, but yeah. yeah. My channel that I am going to call the stories behind the music. All right? Yeah, yeah. Now, today, we will be discussing Ote. Now, let's see how this even got to be the first episode of um, Story Behind the Music. I used to be sick, but now I'm okay. So one day I was on TikTok Live and uh, people were literally like talking about Ote. Ooh. And um, Damn. I started telling the story there and I was like, yo, I was getting deep into the story of how the song even came about. And I was like, yo, that would actually be a great story time to tell on YouTube. So that's what I'm going to actually do. I'm going to tell the story time of Ote. But again, it came up last night because I was on the phone with my boy Tata God, and he was, I guess, YouTube is doing this weird thing now where like the algorithm is putting everybody in everybody. You seeing things from three years ago. I don't know if y'all noticed it. I've been noticing it a lot. So I guess Ote has been in people's algorithm. Tata like, yo, bro, whatever happened to Ote? Like, what happened to this? He's like, yo, how did you do this? Like, so I'm going into that and I'm remembering mad feelings now. A unpopular opinion that is, and I think silently, uh, I don't want to speak. I don't want to speak for everybody on my side, but I think we do agree. Ote's not the greatest song in the world, and for years, me, I've had to deal with going outside. I used to be me and BJ. Not not to get too off tangent. We're gonna get to the story time. Me and BJ used to be. In Mount Vernon, going to Mount Vernon High School, handing out flyers to people individually to the high school kids with like a QR code so you could get my project or my, my Apple Music would pop up. My Apple Music would pop up and niggas would go and what's my biggest song at this time? Ote, go click this shit and act like it really represents me. So I have disliked that song for that reason just secretly as an artist. I hated it being my top song. Shout out to 2023 and my hard work on TikTok. The <laughs> Love Love now being my biggest song on on um individually other than um my feature with Queen um more love. I ain't gonna lie, I fuck with Ote. It wasn't the worst. Hell, I've heard worse from some of these celebrities. Well, not celebrities, but some of these mainstream artists. Now, let's now react. To the video first so everybody can get in context of what ote exactly is hold on let me pull this up let me pull this up give me two seconds y'all all right okay. now first of all we gotta explain like i'm i all right all right yeah, that's, have a side that's what my that's what my nigga asked you. Yo, this things. nigga has the boldies distracting me. <laughs> He's distracting me. Okay, first of all, who t yo? Who <laughs> this yo, nigga, this thing about to roast himself. <laughs> who told me to go open shirt? Like yo, what? <laughs> What the hell was I thinking? Okay, we got we got Mella Barbie in the video. I don't know if niggas knew we had Mella Barbie in the video, low key. Okay, this is terrible. What? Look, ah, no hair on the side of my bean. Ah, 
You feel me? Oh, most days, most days, other people are the joke. I come back. I ain't gonna lie. Open shirt was crazy. And today I'm the joke. This is side baldy was crazy. Terrible. Look at me. This is awful. I don't know how Lee, Clarence, or Queen let me fucking do this video like this. Years later, this did not. <laughs> <laughs> age well like if i got if, if i had kids i would not want to show them old hey like we can slide past this one we can slide past this one son this is crazy oh my god yo and then of course this nigga gonna pull this up. nigga clarence walked down let me I, I was gonna say the wrong word i'm gonna say he walked down like a, a male model with his his shit gonna age well Right, he can show his kids this. He just don't gotta be embarrassed. He just wears a wife beater. Me, I go tropical Hawaiian shirt. Who told me to do that shit? Who told me to do that shit? Okay, Yo, this is crazy. Okay. Okay. Well, he was throwing that ass in a circle. You hear me? Years later, I don't even understand how we created this song. Like, even though I wrote it, it's like the hook only represented Clarence's life. <laughs> Hey, 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 listen. Armand said, not Armand, fuck. Are you talking about me right now? Listen, my to God said, stop going so crazy on the nigga, right? Me. I'm not going to give my honest opinion. I'm not going to. Years later, this hook had this hook, this hook damn shit to do with me. I mean, I, 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 and I don't know, I don't know how that, I don't know how that missed, but I guess I would, I guess I was trying to write something that made sense since they said he was gonna be on the hook. But this shit, this is my song. This shit have nothing to do with me. I have shit right here. They got like, I had like fucking gr I had two hundred dollars in grabbed in my name right here. <laughs> Yo, hold on, we gotta hear this hook again. Nigga, my wrist was naked. Shit, I was still broke right there. I shit. used to be sick. I wasn't okay. <laughs> wrist was plain as a bitch. My personal wrist. <laughs> this nigga. I ain't had a girlfriend in 10 years. Goddamn. <laughs> Yo. This years is later, that shit is less and less about me. And then, yo, yo, you gotta look. Look how disrespectful the humps are. Like, look, Clarence, Clarence says the hook right here, right? I bet you right here, I'm rapping. Look at the line go down, and I bet you he rapping right here. Guaranteed. Look at this. Look at this. Let's follow it. Okay. Knew you get bit. That nigga said, knew I get rich. I gotta fast forward because I ain't not about to copyright me. Stop listening. Look, look, right when I start. <laughs> <laughs> Niggas just stop listening. Look, look. Right when I start. <laughs> Yo, he gotta stop doing himself like that. Stop. Stop, Yo, please. Yo, you gotta love. Yo, welcome. Yo. Yo. Yo, you gotta love you niggas. You niggas, you niggas been consistent. I'm not gonna lie, you niggas been consistent with, with letting me know that y'all don't always fuck with me. I'm not gonna lie, y'all been consistent. I love y'all. I love y'all for it. The ones Ooh. that do this little hump right here. I I, ain't, I don't know who all this big hump is, but this little hump right here, I love y'all. <laughs> I love my little hump. I love it. I don't know who told me to go Hawaiian shirt, gang. Okay. I don't want to get copyrighted. Exactly. Pause this. Yo, and I was so melodic right there. My voice is, my voice is, is baby angelic right here. I'm not gonna lie, it's baby angelic. Baby angelic. I got to mute out some of these parts, yeah. Okay. Look, now, this is where... Pull up and hop out the bins. <laughs> I'm a legend, my son a legend. That's about me. I pray to God for the confidence. I ain't shit. That wasn't even his part. My job for this. This did not age well. This is a fucking terrible fit. Terrible <laughs> fit. Yo, you know what the funny thing is? Let me talk about this fit real quick. I spent my last $500 on this fit. That shirt right there was $244. I planned on taking that shirt back, and I never got a chance to.
I never got a chance to take back that shirt. It's in my mind. I like your vulnerability and your truth these days. That's dope. This house right now in the bins. I took a polo shirt back one. They had me fucked up. That shit was like $70. But I needed it. Because I ain't have nothing else to wear at the time. And I ain't had no motherfucking money. So the whole time, I'm like, hey, hey, hey. <laughs> Don't get nothing on my motherfucking shirt. I know y'all ain't smoking around my shirt. <laughs> I know y'all not smoking around my shirt. Hell, about to go back smelling like fucking. That shit was two hundred forty dollars. I'm not gonna go back smelling like ref. Subies was like another two hundred fifty dollars. That was like my last five hundred dollars. I'm on this no cap. I probably got like <laughs> just enough money to order McDonald's on Uber Eats while shooting this video. Game. Oh, damn. <laughs> but I'm living with my moms right now. So. Hey, peep this shit. That's how it was when I came to see y'all niggas. I was broker than a bitch. You hear me? I need to tell a story time on the other real part of it. Y'all, I did not have a debit card because I was in the negative. And I took the money out of the account to make the account negative just to have a couple dollars out of there. Oh, it was bad. Oh, it was so bad. Terrible. It's like broke is a little different when you're not paying rent. I aged well. I ain't gonna count my situation. I aged very well. Eh? <laughs> like when you, I can't be broke down. I could have been, I could have broke days back then, but I think I had like $50 and some grabba, nigga. Yo, my haters anonymous. I am the one in this. I hate this. Oh. This fit is blowing my but this is this is fire. Me, we, we was balling at a point. We was both balling. Not hitting the highs, man. I don't even know who this joint is. I don't even know who this joint is. I remember at the video shoot, I don't know who this joint is. But I remember at the video shoot, we ain't want, we ain't want, we ain't want. This <laughs> nigga like stupid. We ain't want too much light on the other joint. I'm not gonna lie, we ain't want too much light on the other joint. Yeah, it was totally different. I couldn't. I take it for granted. I'm sorry, I can't. Yo, and then look at this nigga. He pop up L in the Gucci. Like, yo, I'm not gonna lie, this nigga is shit age well. His shit age better than mine. I'm in another button down with my chest out. I'm in another fucking button down with my chest out. Like I didn't look at him. And then he jeeved me. Look how he jeeved me. Look, look, you gotta watch niggas from New York. Look how this nigga. Clarence might have had on three dollar a three dollar shirt, but his jeans was probably eleven hundred. His like second video, he went shopping for jeans and paid eleven hundred for him when he first started YouTube. I just want to make that very clear. <laughs> he jeans me. He grabs my fucking shirt like I'm doing something. Get nah, that that second shirt was real bad. Yo! Ma was back. not feeling the song. When this hump coming here, whatever this hump is. But why do we both go no shirt under the under the um? Why do we both? Like, why was that our option? No shirt under the T. Like, why do we go both to that? Okay. Oh, man. Bad feet. Yo, I'm, I'm not going to lie. This did not age well for me. This did not age well. I don't even, I don't even know if I want to show y'all this. This did not age well for me, game. I don't want a nigga Devin calling me. Hold on. Yo. Yo, bro, I'm going to call you right back. I'm doing, the, I'm doing this story time. Alright. Alright. Me talking to voice because she don't know I'm live. This did not age well for me at all. Hold on. Hold on. Hold on. Hold on. Hold on. I think it gotta be like right I used to be sick, but now I'm all tight. Those is bad feet. Hold on, let's run it back again. Those feet is Versace. These shits is awful. Versace sock runners. I dead went in the store. I don't know what I was thinking when I first got some chicken. I thought I was going to be different. Everybody was getting Balenciaga sock runners. I'm like, nah. You know when That's the Virgo in you. Niggas go left. I like to go right. I try That Virgo shit and it makes, makes this much sense. Especially when everybody on YouTube got the same shit. It'd be like. 
I mean, of course, we all want to be original. Don't give me ain't nothing wrong with being original now, goddammit. I do a lot of original shit. However, comma, I wouldn't have done them socks. That was almost like buying a Reebok shoe or, or putting on some champion sock runners. Something different. It was a miss. It was a miss. I should have never did this. Didn't age well at all. I look, I look awful. I look awful. I can't, this is, and this is technically my, one of my, this is my biggest video in my life. It's not my biggest song, but it's my biggest video. It's terrible. Jesus Christ. <laughs> Oh yeah, he's coming. Nah, that was a bad shirt. That was a bad shirt. Ew, 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 ew. That's why I used to call me a little Uggs. So many things. Listen, this nigga, back in the days, <laughs> I used to be like, yo, I could, I, I've seen him in person, okay? And this, this fucking hair just wasn't for him. The hair that he has now with a hat on, especially. Ma, you type in your eye, my boy. I ain't gonna call you sexy because you're gonna find me weird. But I'm just saying, it was if you lied right with that. I had on a nice fit. Dope. This shit right. I don't blame you, bro. Bad fit, bad hair. I get it. I completely get it. Dude, and I got the hair sitting on my face. Like, yo, where's the rest of my joy? I got ah ew. Shirt all, right. all sloppy, big, chest yeah, all bony, and I need to do some push. Ew. Ew. Pull up, I'm about to bend. Then this sexy motherfucker <laughs> just walks up. Pull up and how about the bends? I'm a legend, my son a legend. Pull up, how about the bends? Let me tell y'all something about Clarence. If y'all ever get to see him in person, these videos do this man no justice. I, I'm listen. He one of them niggas that even his niggas. That's why Mod is acting like that right now. Even his niggas would be like, "Yo, you pretty motherfucker." You nice looking ass nigga. <laughs> you, know what I'm saying? you could never be like, you ugly motherfucker. Never. You could never. Okay. Child, that is hilarious. <laughs> you be like, you ugly niggas be like, the whole room will be like, you know damn well you fucking lying. Nigga, you just hating. You just hating because you're not that cute. I'm a ninja and my son a legend. I do nothing. I'm still getting N's. <laughs> oh, everybody it. thought he was saying M's. It was N's. That, an that answered one of my questions. Yeah, you you got to see through my lens. Same thing I had to sound you like a ball man with the Tim's. So he had on ball man jeans. I'm not going to lie. I'm not going to lie. He fake had the hardest part. He, did. he didn't have the hardest delivery. Like his verse, like it wasn't better, but like the melody on his part was hard. But the delivery, oh yeah, Queen too it, for it, sure. The delivery didn't age well. The nigga never promoted it. You get you know what I'm saying? <laughs> That's why after I finish reacting, I'm gonna tell the story. The nigga never promoted it once, so I guess he never was too proud of it. You feel me? But um, shit, I don't even blame the nigga. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. I do. Yo, I don't even blame the nigga to be honest. I don't. I don't blame. Him. I never blamed him for that. I just, I, in the back of my mind, I kind of understood why he never promoted it, and I never, I never pushed it. And was like, yo, bro, can you help promote a song? But like, years later, it's okay. We get it. We, we, I'm, I'm, I'm not glad this wasn't bigger, but I'm okay with where it's at. That's all I can say. I'm okay with where it's at. Broke is a joke. My, my pockets is terrible. terrible. All right, so I don't want to get copyright. Nah, his haircut go crazy. I wish he get it back. His haircuts be.
Yo, y'all really some eaters. I'm not gonna lie, I love y'all though. Wait, what happened? Oh, so you could tell how long somebody watched your video? Oh, that's great. So you could tell. Wait, 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 wait. That's gotta that gotta be what he's talking about. That's what he's talking about, the humps. Oh, nah, that's crazy. I did not know that. So they watched in the beginning. Oh, okay. That's why that nigga was like, y'all are crazy. That is crazy. Y'all are really some eaters. I'm not gonna lie, I love y'all though. Y'all some eaters. All right, let's go back. All right, all right, that was fun. All right, so now the story of how Ote came about, stories behind the music episode one, right? Yep. So, as you know, in 2018, hey, uh, I was opening up. on Queen Street, hey, uh, uh, the Queen <laughs> Naja tour, the, the first one. And, um, we used to, I used to have a song, Smackdown, that's like, swear that I used to be broke. I'm the man now. Why is it don't? And I'm not the now. Why is it the struggle? I feel like the man now, whatever. But there's a, there was a part in there where I used to say something like, me and some, me and C came up out the basement. I can't remember the lurks right now. Something out the basement. Me and C came up out the basement. And I used to call him out at the show all the time. And it used to be like, boom, like, you know, my show would start off high, boom, in the middle, I get a little rappy, everybody don't know the joints in the middle, and, you know, they just, ha, ah, just staring at you, just like, you know, in space, and um, it would kind of bring my show up, so it would be like a roar, like, this nigga didn't have a song, but when the nigga came out, the building would shake, you feel me, no head, the, the building would be like, oh, shit, you feel me, you think, you know, you think fucking... Willis Reed is coming out with the bro. Now I've definitely been to a show and when that nigga Clarence come out, like, first of all, his meet and greets, they had to pull Clarence. <laughs> Yo, as y'all can see, Clarence don't be at the shows. <laughs> They probably want that nigga there for a meet and greet because he take all the meet and greets. <laughs> like, in the, don't get me wrong, in the beginning, the queen had her own meet and greet. And, of course, queen's meet and greet is going to be long. But Clarence and Mod had theirs at the end. And this nigga Mod, uh, excuse me, Clarence, it was a line like rap, rap, rap. I waited to, to speak to them niggas till they was done. That shit was crazy. Broke foot at the goddamn uh, game seven for the Knicks, right? So, um, right, boom. So we get off tour, right? I go back to the hood. Everything's going on. I think, uh, um, I think that around this time they have Legend because like Queen was pregnant on tour. So, um, yeah, they got Legend. So now it's like. We, we coming back together because, like, now I think Legend probably been a, a, alive a little bit. Or, like, I was there. Not alive was a little bit. I was, I was in, the, in the crib, but I was there. I don't remember the details. Either way, it's around that time we're doing, we're doing like, recording. So we come with the idea, like, because of how lit tour is that, like, yo, me and Clarence need to do a song together and just see what a song would, would come to be, like, what it could be. So... We do it, we have like this original uh, recording um, session for the uh, song at this other studio. That's where I originally came up with the, well, we had already been saying Ote. Ote was like a big thing on tour. Like I'd be like, Ote, they'd be like, when I say Ote, y'all say Ote, can I get a Ote? Like everybody, so Ote was like, ah, everybody say Ote, Ote. The fan base knows we say Ote. Like for sure, the core fan base knows we say Ote. So, um, Right, we go to this studio. Uh, Lee books this studio. We get this. We go to this studio, and um, 
it's a whole nother beat, but we already have the old take concept. We in there, you know, we do what we do. We drink a little, we do what we cr- trying, to, trying to create this old take concept, old take, old take concept. We come up with something in there on another beat. It's not really it, but it's okay. It's like the start of something. Like, you feel me? It's, just, it's a pretty good start of something. Boom, a couple weeks go by. Uh, now, Queen is recording at this new studio. Um, at I'm going to get a beer, but I can ho- I can I can hear it. But let me know if somebody sent my drink. at this producer's house. So now, um, they record her every day. She fake booked out there, and it's booked all day. But um, Queen is basically like she. It was booked at a time, but but Queen would get there later. So I would just use. They would be there booked early, and they would have nothing to do. So I would just run and really get like. Uh, out squeezing the hour or two before Queen got to the studio. Like if she supposed to be there at like four, she usually get there around six. So I'd be there at two thirty, <laughs> so I could really hustle and get these little two hours before she would pull up. I would take my own Uber. Do 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 boom boom boom. Right. So we going. I'm going to the studio now. Ryan, you sat in my chair. You sat in my chair. How you just gonna sit in my chair like that, Ryan? Okay, bet. And um, during this time, we have been like, uh, we have been like, like this is probably one of the only bet. times in which like the group was like we was having like, uh, like interactive conversation about my music in terms of like, yo, maybe it's not working because it is, or maybe it's not working because it is, or maybe it's not working like it because it is, or I feel like you don't go. But you know me, I'm not really trying to hear that shit. You feel me? Like, they were saying it, and I was like, all right. You feel me? Like, I wasn't really, I was, I took heed to it, though. You feel me? I heard, you know, it's always good to get opinions, but I wasn't, I really just didn't agree with the stances that we was having on why my music wasn't working right there. I'm just like, nah. Oh, I need to hear that again. Like, this is probably one of the only times in which, like, the group was, like, we was having, like, uh, like, interactive conversation about my music in terms of, like, yo, maybe it's not working because it is, or maybe it's not working because it is, or maybe it's not working like it because it is, or I feel like you don't go, but you know me, I'm not really trying to hear that shit. You feel me? Like, they were saying that, and I was like, all right. You feel me? Like, I wasn't really, li- I was, I took heed to it, though. You feel me? I heard, you know, it's always good to get opinions, but I wasn't, I really just didn't agree with the stances that we was having on why my music wasn't working right there. I'm just like, nah, I don't think. Yeah, I ain't shit. I got to pee, and then I'm going to have to pee first, and then I'm going to have to come back so I can really say what I need to do. I feel like he can disagree. I just feel as though, you know, he probably should have took heed to the information because uh, I never disliked his music, though. I never disliked it. I always felt like Ma just could go a little harder at certain things. And Ma probably felt like he was already going through hard at certain things. <laughs> he probably was like, fuck that. But I right, hear what I'm doing. And it's okay. You will be that. Like, that's that's always been me. You know Thank what you, what So, boo, we go. Um, and, uh, I just, it doesn't matter. It wasn't like it, these, these were, these weren't like, uh, problematic conversation. These were like, you know, with the, with the intention of growth, but you know, in my head, I took it as like, you know, like shit, I got to turn up. Like I got to go to the studio and do some more amazing shit to a new level. So now we go to the studio and now it's like, Ote day. They like, yo, we going to. Um, work on Ote, so I kind of uh, pour out the ideas that I have for the for the for the Ote to the producer, how I kind of want it to sound. Da 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 do. Right? They make a beat. Ooh. Right? I don't love it. I don't love it. I'm go. I, I I I'm so glad I could say this now. I I don't I don't love it. You know what I'm saying? I don't love the beat. But I'm like, okay, we'll probably have more than one shot. So I write a song to that beat. We write the song. Everybody is just too quickly. You said he was giving bitter. This don't give bitter to me. You know what I think? Like. I, 
I feel like everybody just isn't open to change. They're not open to opinions, especially if they feel like that's not what's going on. And he said he always been like that. So maybe he, he might not be open to it, you know, open to certain things or, you know, a person got to receive it correctly and maybe he wasn't receiving it correctly, you know. And rape, like, like everybody, like, this is it. This is it. Like, okay, this is it. I recorded. Boom. This and honestly, if he were to feel bitter, I think he would have a right to. Um, simply because if we all coming into something with the same intention and want to get the same thing, whatever, um, I would need to be doing so. But. He gonna hate me for this, but I don't feel like he took full advantage of that. Um, I don't think he took full advantage of that because I'm gonna let him keep talking until I. This is it. Oh, boom! Now the next day, the next, the next day, we um get um C down to the studio. Now that's a whole nother process in itself, <laughs> in which like. It was rope for him, but like we had to get him to deliver, right? And he not a rapper. I feel like he, he allowed was, haters to convince him that like, his song boom, like, wasn't detail, fire. Like he just no, I think he genuinely don't think the song is fire. He has a different ear as everybody else, you know. <laughs> it's it's a funny process. Like we laugh, really joke. It's fun because it's like it's his nigga's first time in the studio, really trying to rap. Mm. The funny thing is a funny backstory. Is Later on, nigga told me. <laughs> Later on, nigga told me. Yeah, Vita, that, that's how I feel. That, right, we was in the studio, and it was taking him mad long to record, right? But at this point in time, like, nigga, I've been in that studio all day writing songs, smoking mad blunts, rapping at this mic. So now, <laughs> he's like, my breath was on the mic. And because he wasn't like used to the studio, like it wasn't his space. He said he was spending mad time in there trying to clean the mic off. But he, I guess he ain't wanna, I guess he ain't wanna say that in the moment. So I guess that's what made the recording process, uh, what we found out later that made the recording process so crazy or long, right? So you feel me, I guess. He's I guess his, his um, his backstory to that is the original time he tried to record by he niggas niggas said my breath was kicking on the mic. Like my breath had to had the mic rocking. You feel me? So my fault for fucking up nigga the niggas first recording session. But um yeah, that was a list of funny backstory. But either way, got people out get, here that's doing less in that song. Yeah, I completely agree with the that. Process funny. He it took him a, it took Boys. him a while, but we get through the process. Now we got it laid, right? I'm not gonna lie. I'm sitting in the studio like Jay Z on that on that shit. Like, like I'm listening to it and it's me and I'm like, you know, maybe we could do something different to the beat, you know, or maybe and everybody like, nah, this is perfect, boom. And then like, it's we finish it and then Queen gotta go. So it's like there's not even no time like we sitting there dancing with it, uh, for too long. Like we're not sitting playing around with it for too long. Like it's like boom, right? So I'm like, all right, I take it home. I'm like, okay, this is just a a first attempt skeleton. I go home. I'm I'm literally sleeping in a crib in CJ room on the floor, and um, I'm listening to this shit. What, and I'm like, nigga? Why? What about the couch? We not gonna get an air mattress, y'all. One thing about it, when I be at other people's house, I gotta feel like I'm at my own house. I do. So even if I'm in CJ room, I done bought me an air mattress, <laughs> bitch. I'm, I'm coming in with my book bag. They gonna be like, nigga, what's in the book bag? My air mattress. Hell, you thought this was? Whoosh. Nigga, I got my own blankets and everything. <laughs> Why are you sleeping on the floor? You couldn't even think right. I, ah, ah, so many questions. Like, what like, about the couch? If I'm gonna do a song with C, like, we gotta pop out. Like, that's how I really took it. I'm like, yo, this could be a thing. Like, if done right, I felt like that could have been a thing. Like, you feel me? The nigga had the, 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 has the clout to get you to listen to some shit that he do. 
You feel me? Like you want to listen to it to either give him good praise or bad praise. But you want to listen to it. He had it. So I'm like, yo, if we do this right. So I'm listening to that song. I'm like, yo, this ain't it. This ain't it. How I'm going to tell niggas this ain't it. Like I done robbed studio session damn near to get in. I'm sneaking in here early to get studio time. Niggas is taking risks. Nigga made a beat. How? I'm, I'm just feeling all of this other shit that I should have just. I wish I. This person would have been like, no. Like this version of me right now. But it's, it's all a learning process. I would have been like, no. I'm not doing this shit. Don't put this shit out. Fuck this song. But, um, right? We go to the studio next day, right? We go to the studio next day. Niggas is excited about Ote. When I talk about excited, nigga, niggas in the, the producers, all the niggas that's in the studio, they're like, yo, we been in here bumping that shit all day. That shit, like, that's one of the ones. Like, I know when I got one of the ones, the nigga that made songs for all these people. I know when I got one of the ones. It's one of the ones. So I'm sitting there like, yo, I must not know what one of the ones is. Like, <laughs> I don't know what one of the ones is because I'm confused. But I'm like, yo, these niggas know more than me. These are the niggas with the money. I'm the, I'm the brokest nigga here. I, and yeah, see, you broke. know, see, this one I got to say what I want to say. I feel like. Mine ain't gonna ever call me, y'all. He ain't gonna ever. We not gonna ever get together. He's he ain't even that type of guy. He likes to be to himself. When he, when he want to fuck with you, he will. So I'm I'm saying that to say because he don't like. I feel like he don't want me to say certain things or, or that that would be against him because he may not agree. But my problem with mine is you can't have that mindset, you know. And he could say to me like, "Nigga, you nigga." You have no idea. Like, I'm around rich niggas and they doing da da da, and I'm just in a corner. Like, I've been there, you know? But I'm, I never, like, made it seem like, nigga, I'm, I'm the brokest nigga in the room. I'm not fucking doing that, you know? And I feel like broke is a mindset. It's not about the money. Clarence could be the brokest nigga in the room monetary wise, but you never fucking know. Cause this nigga look like butterscotch. Okay. But he worked on himself to look like butterscotch. He be all in himself and all the shit that he do as a man in his own time. What I'm saying is he could do the same, but I just feel like to think that way already is causing a problem. You know what I'm saying? Okay. Nigga, you can't be the brokest nigga in here and the loudest. Like, so I'm like, shit. Maybe these niggas know something. Fuck that. It starts off with the nigga who ain't got the most money, but the nigga got the talent. So the nigga with the money will listen to the nigga with the talent if it makes sense. But you gotta stand on that shit. But that's why he's saying like shit. Today I would say no. I get it. I don't hear a hit, cause I'm like, yo, bro. So then I'm like, yo, can we please like Record more attempts at the OT. Everybody like, nah, bro. We need to do other music. The OT shit. And everybody saying no to me in the room. Oh, that would have been caused the problem for me. Cause what the fuck? Nobody's gonna agree with me at all. So I'm I'm literally just the only one that that's not feeling this shit. And that's supposed to be your project. So once again, he said that now he will say fucking no, and I'm glad that he would now. You know. You live and you learn. You got to learn. Shit. Done. That is the one. I'm like, can we please record? Uh, nah, that's the one. Everybody like, bro, I don't know what you don't get. I don't know how you don't hear the song. You don't hear. I'm like, you know what? I compromise. And this is why I hate the song. I hate the song because at that moment right there, that is the moment that made me hate Ote right there. I compromise. Uh, like, I would think about it this way if I was mad. Y'all niggas, the rich ones. But all y'all talking to me about putting a song together for me, for Clarence, obviously, as well, but for me. And you telling me I ain't got no say so on my own motherfucking project? But, you know, like he said to him now, I ain't having it. So, yeah. now, he learned from it. You don't realize what you're doing and when you compromise sometimes. When you compromise, your compromise could work in your favor or against your favor. Facts. And it's just enough fate of some other people that have nothing that don't even know what you're aiming for niggas that's telling you that your music ain't 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 it's 
give you reasons for why your music ain't good enough, but we putting out bullshit like Ote. You feel me? So I'm like, I, right. I, but at that point, I didn't have the, the the right premise and I guess confidence and understanding of what I wanted to do in my career to do it. So it's like, I, right. boom, let's put the bullshit out, right? We're gonna put out the bullshit. Damn. Right? Oh. I'm sitting here, boom. Now a little time go by. Now leading up to it, I'm at least getting hype off the exposure it could create for me. You feel me? Like, boom, we about to put out Ote. This could create some exposure for me. We like, we get the song. This is the only time Lee shopped any of my music. We get this song. She shops it to the label. They, you feel me? They sucking. Wow. I'm not going to lie. Years later, these labels, I, you know, and I'm not even going to complain because one day it's going to be my dick in y'all mouth. So I get why y'all was sucking dick, you feel me? But they on Clarence dick. They not even on, I, I wrote the song top to bottom. Niggas ain't on my dick. I don't get it. They wasn't on my dick. Oh, no. Mod. Let me tell y'all something. If you can't beat them, y'all know what I'm saying. Join them! I don't give a fuck who they sucking! Shit! Long as one of us get in the fucking door. This makes a lot of sense. I have so many. Clarence knowing the Clarence he is. If they would have been ready to sign me, I would have told them niggas, y'all not signing me without him. I don't even, I don't even do this shit. Do y'all know how much money my the God could have made off writing the music for Clarence? But it's a mindset because my wants to be the star. But my, did you realize you was walking beside? Did you realize who you was walking beside? Y'all, listen. You know, everybody think niggas be sucking Clarence, bro. It's not sucking. The nigga, niggas better learn to recognize real. You know what I'm saying? A label, a entity, a, a, a brand would want to promote Clarence over mod. Okay, let let me say this. A a a a entity, a motherfucking group, or whatever the hell I just said, will want to do that with jazz over me, Ray so wavy over me. I come with um more titties than usual. I'm gonna say that, and this ain't no no insecure shit. I just know who I am. Yeah, I'm a little heavier. But I can dress my ass off and I'm fly. But they got more money. They got the physique of almost a man slash a woman. And they're young. Cha-ching. You know what I'm saying? But you think I wouldn't be behind them niggas? <laughs> Nigga. Listen, y'all go handle your business. Got them here. Yeah, I'm doing my thing too. You know what I'm saying? That's why when y'all ask me like, God damn, Nick, you got 700 channels. I sure do. Because guess what? Something, something is going to shake for me. Okay? And whether that's me being on camera or off, can I get a hot tub in the comments, y'all? Let me tell you something. I know very well who I am, and I love the shit out of myself. But I am fully aware of who I am walking beside or who I am sharing a building with. Okay. I would have joined Clarence more so than anything else. But I completely mod. I completely get where he's coming from because Mod wants to be the star, the celebrity. That he wants to be the entertainer, the performer. More so than being the writer. My thing is why you can't be Missy Elliott. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? Missy may not be on that motherfucker like these. But she gonna be on that motherfucker like these. You know what I'm saying? 
Okay? If I can't get this song out, let me get this motherfucker to uh whoever, uh, you know, all these people she's produced. Let me give it to them. Same with DJ Khaled. The, the, the delivery may not sound the same when it come from Khaled. But that motherfucker go go crazy if he wrote it for the baby. Either way, I got paid, you know? So I think that's a mindset, y'all. And like, you just, you just gotta, you gotta know, you know? You just gotta know. I don't know what it was. I don't know if they thought I was about to sit here and be his ghost rider, his little Drake. I don't know what the plan was at that point in time, right? So, boom, they on his dick. We go, we go to LA. We got a me and Fote. Boom, I'm walking up in there. I'm feeling like, oh, some. We sitting at the table. We play this bullshit in the label, and it's how I know they be some. I would have ghost wrote the shit for, uh, for fucking, uh, Clarence. Because Clarence wouldn't have gave a damn if I was in that motherfucker like, used to be sick, but now I'm all day. I would have been DJ Khaled on his ass. <laughs> I wrote that shit. You know? But I get it. I get it. Because it's like, y'all got Queen Naja at the label. No, I know that. That's what I'm saying, Turk. I'm fully aware that this is his dream. This is his passion. I know. That's why I'm saying I get where he's coming from. But I'm just saying if it were me, I'm just going gonna, gonna to go with it. <clears throat> if Ray or Jazz is more appealing than me to the, to the eye of the younger crowd and the smaller physique crowd, I'm with it. <laughs> I don't give a fuck as long as I got paid. You know what I'm saying? But I get it. I completely get it. I do. It's amazing music. And you're going to tell me you hear Ote and y'all think it's some shit. We put that bullshit on. All them niggas in there rocking like, oh, Clarence come on. Oh, shit. Niggas is like, oh, shit. All of a sudden, same nigga out of the cell. I'm like, no way, bro. I'm in the room like, yo. Like, I'm in the room like, yo, niggas will suck a dick. Like, if it That's not good. I'm not going to lie, that's not good. Why? I know. Because I, I don't want you to feel like I'm against you because I'm not, because that's the thing. You felt like they was. But the thing, like, like here's what I'm telling y'all or asking y'all rather. If the nigga is stronger at writing, why wouldn't that be a problem? I, like, or why would that, excuse me, be a problem? If you're stronger at writing, write. You know how much money he could have made with Clarence on writing for the nigga? And then that's if he wanted to get signed or whatever the fuck. I don't know. You know? I don't know yet. Ghost writers make the most money. They don't make more than the artists, obviously. Well, some do. Shit. Nigga, Babyface write for people? Uh, Missy Elliott? Uh, uh, Timbaland? DJ Khaled? Um... What's that damn artist's name? He wrote a lot of Chris Brown songs. I can't even think of his name. Chris Brown did a song with, uh, what's that song I like? And it don't stop. Uh, 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 uh. What's that song? Okay, Vito write music, Dream write music, but what that song I was just singing? Chris Brown and who did that song? Eric Bellinger, that's who I was talking about in the beginning. He made fire ass music for people. Neo, Seven Streeter made that song, right? And she sang it. Chris Brown got on the song, the song went up. She do a song by herself, the song don't do shit. She still got paid. Tank writes songs, Jay Valentine, Scott Storch, the list goes on. Ma could be an iconic writer. But one thing about them goddamn Virgos is they stand on whatever they feel. You know, whether it's right or wrong, they stand on whatever they feel. And I just feel like it puts them in situations that don't allow them to get no motherfucking money. Yeah, they get in their own way, respectfully. You know? And my thing is, <clears throat> if one thing don't work, y'all, this is why y'all see me do different things. I, I'm not ever going to go against me. 
You get what I'm saying? I ain't going to do nothing but elevate me. So I'm going to learn something new. Try that. But one day I'm going to be a multimillionaire off something. And if that's some behind some shit, YouTube automation. If that's behind some shit, I'm cool with it. It comes down to it. They going to put that thing in their mouth and, and hawk it back if that's what they want. So I'm like, shit. That's terrible to think like clearance? that. clearance? Fuck it. If I get in the door, I'm going to run around the house. Give me a little time. All I need to do is get in the building. So I'm like, fuck it. If, y'all, if this is how we going to suck my suck dick into me getting some money, come on. That's, so, what, I'm savage. that's what I'm thinking. That's not what I'm saying out loud. That's what I'm thinking. Like, shit. Y'all think it's about to suck dick into me getting some money? Come on. Let's do it. Suck his dick until we until until we get paid. I wrote the song. This is all my shit. Y'all, I don't care. If y'all want to give some money for the song, let's do it, right? Mm-hmm. Whatever. I don't know how the deal worked out. I've never heard the percentages of what the deal worked out to. However it came, we had the mean at the label. They did what they did. I met with some nigga. He was supposed to be my new uh, manager. He actually manages some nigga that's lit in the, in, the, in the town, in the game right now. I can't even... He's nice. He's supposed to... It was not my manager, but like my... Whatever, some kind of connected the label. He's supposed to handle my shit. You feel me? My shit that we had going on at that time, right? So I'm like, okay, I'm feeling like, oh, finally, I'm about to get a chance to run around this house. I've been trying to run around, right? I don't know what happened. Next thing you know, we like, we not doing it. They ask it for da 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 da. Then I ain't never hear what it was, but I I feel like you know. I'm not, you know, I'm not going to put a, uh, 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 um, a reason on it. Cause I really don't know, but I just feel like with Clarence being involved, uh, yeah, it worked in my favor and not in my favor. Probably did get an offer, but it forced Lee to be also more protective of the situation. Cause she didn't want probably them to get ownership of her brother in some way or something you feel me i don't i don't know i feel i just feel like this shit had nothing to do with me no comment if i'm just speaking honestly right so um whatever we don't so now it's like yo we gonna put it out independent um i don't want to say who was running the label at that time but somebody was running the label at the time um and uh I'm like, yo, all right, so if we're going to do it independently, let's put it out through my shit. Like, you feel me? I already got it. Boom, boom, boom. She like, nah, bro, I'm going to get it handled. We're going to put it out through um, some other shit. So I'm like, all right, whatever. So now we got like a day set. I'm actually a little excited now. Like, I even remember riding the train. We posting shit. I was about to, I was in New York, about to go to um Atlanta so we could drop the shit. Like, I remember all of that shit. And, um... Uh, yeah, I remember like, I remember like, cause it, it's, it's not often when niggas repost. I remember like Queen reposted the OT shit. So I'm like, oh shit, this about to be some shit. Even though I don't really fuck with this song, I'm thinking like, yo, mad at these YouTubers niggas make whack shit. Like I heard worse shit than what we about to put out. So who knows? Fuck it. At this point, it's out my hands. God, take it. Lay it up. Queen posted it. There's some numbers. I'm like, oh, this OT shit about to go crazy. I'm posting it. It's getting more traction. People is getting hype. Oh, Clarence about to be on the song. I'm like, I right, copy. Yeah, okay. It's about to be something. We about to uh, be able to do this. That was the whole plan. Lee, like, yo, you, we got Clarence on the song, but it's really your song. It's going to be a moment. Everybody going to listen to it. It's going to be big. That was the plan. We coming in. Boom. Right? We get closer. We get closer. And now, niggas... <laughs> I feel like niggas started hearing the song for what it really was, if you want to ask my opinion. Because I've, I've been knew what the song was, but I feel like niggas started hearing the song for really what really what it was. Like, you start playing the song in the crib, and this is the time when Roddy Rich is in the house. I remember one time, we playing the song in the crib, and then you play Roddy Rich song after, and you like, oh, taste? Like, I'm in my head like, yo, oh, taste trash. Like, I'm thinking that, like, yo, this shit trash, bro. Like, I got eight songs that niggas ain't promoting my, that I already put out that's better than old Tay Gangy. If I'm gonna keep it a whole hundred stack, yo. Say that again. Like, I'm in my head, like, yo, old Tay's trash. Like, I'm thinking that, like, yo, this shit trash, bro. Like, I got eight songs that niggas ain't promoting on my, that I already put out that's better than old Tay Gangy. If this sound like resentment. I'm not gonna lie. <clears throat> First of all, I'll be mad as hell that niggas not promote my shit, too. And that ain't even on no hating shit. Why y'all not promoting me? I would be at, I would be.
But if I'm not mistaken, Clarence was promoting his music at least. Hell, Lee was too. It wasn't no, it wasn't no consistent, but it wasn't supposed to be consistent. You know, it, it's for you to promote. But if Clarence in the song, like, you got to promote the song. But I, if I ain't mistaken, he promoted it. If I'm a keeper, a whole hundred stack. You know what I mean? If I'm a keeper, all the way a hundred. I got a hundred songs better than old tail ready. So I'm like, ha, ah, ah, I'm here and there. I'm like, dude. So I'm like, you know, now we getting before when we was like seven days away, niggas was posting, and now we getting closer to the date. I'm posting by myself, you know? So now I'm like, I'm feeling it. When we originally came up with the plan, it was like, we was gonna put it on this channel. And then as we got closer, it's like, we gonna put it on my channel. And it's like, it's no wrong doing to put it on my channel, but we was trying to get the most exposure for the song at the time. It really, nobody made money off of the, 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 the YouTube video because it was copyrighted. That's so crazy. The money, either way, I didn't make a set. It was- How is your own? I thought the plan was to give it the most exposure by the end. It was like, nah, we're going to just put it on your channel, bro. And I know, I knew the y'all, it probably sound like, uh, uh, yo, why wouldn't you put it on your channel? But it's like the plan was original. Clarence, put this shit on your fucking channel. What you, Clarence, but if you don't put this shit on your channel. But that still probably wouldn't have went in our mind. Um, God damn, I keep saying our mind. My the God's favor. But Clarence, put this shit on your channel. Originally <laughs> to give it more exposure, right? So I'm like, all right, whatever. I ain't complain. Yo, I'm not gonna lie, I never complain. I just take my licks. So I'm like, shit. All right, we gonna put it on my channel. It's still gonna go crazy as me and see. Like, I'm like, I'm not even tripping. I'm not even tripping. Now, the song comes out the day the song comes out. Now I'm thinking, shit. At least we gonna be in this like a unit. Like you feel me? We have we've done we've done thirty we've done we've we've done toured EPs where we're a unit when we drop something. We drop something. I'm the only one screaming from mountaintop about the song. Like yo da da da. I'm doing reactions and shit. Nobody's reposted it. I'm trying to get niggas to do it. Nobody's talking about the song. I'm like damn. Now the ridicule's coming in. Yo, he's not a rapper. Da 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 da, da 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 So I'm like, damn, this was just a bad move. Like it was a bad move. And then, then that's when the compromise hit me when I was like, damn, I wanted to do this a different way. And if I would have spoke up and said no and stood on it and said, no, we should do this a different way, we would have got a different result. But this was a time when I was just more quiet and like, I just didn't know, you know, I felt like I had been trying my way for the longest. And that was really a conversation that me and Lee had where she was like, yo, you've been, we've been trying it your way for the longest. It hasn't been working. So let's try it my way. So I tried it that way. And that was my compromise moment. And that's why I hate that song to this day. And to this day, there's literally been people like, I mm, nah, I saw Clarence post DDP on his story. Automatically. Mm. I had niggas had to he did lock in and do him. I'm going to save my piece at this. Arguing the hood, calling me like, yo, bro, niggas saying you trash because, because of Ote. And I'm like, bro, I mean, that's the shit that's at the top of my Apple Music. Like, that's just my biggest song off exposure and popularity. But um, that's why I love love is like more of a sentimental moment to me because it was like, yo, I finally reached a moment in which, you know. Clarence, um, Clarence posts Queen music every time she, every time Queen drop, he post, y'all go check out. That, <laughs> I'm gonna say everything I need to say. My music went to the top, like, you know, like I didn't need no other exposure or nothing for this to happen. So it was kind of like a moment which you like verified, you know, what I be thinking about myself ain't wrong. You know, I just need to, the marketing and the exposure for everybody to, you know, get to know who I really am. But yeah.
Yeah, that's that's pretty much Ote. And to this day, I think this is this is the craziest fact of Ote. To this day, I haven't made a cent from that song because the streaming platform that we use. That's another. That's the part I think I forgot. The streaming platform that uh whatever Lee used to put it out was with some other person, and we don't even know how to get in contact with that other person anymore. You feel me? It's not like. Oh, I would be fucking pissed. I know he's still counting that money to today. You know, I'm not sitting here oh. saying that like, um, I haven't asked about it or tried. You know, I've tried and I think, I believe that Lee has attempted, or at least she told me she's attempted to uh, try to figure out how to get that bread. But yeah, I haven't made a set on my own. Oh, that was my biggest one for three years. Crazy. Yeah, that's the story behind my least favorite song, and it's the compromise. Like, it's really the compromise. What? All the other things that happen is just the truth of the music business and being independent. You know, not um, not having all your ducks. Are, being in the independent means you know you're a little weaker. You know, you could not weaker, but uh, you know, it puts you in the position of having to listen sometimes and learn. And that was a position where I, I feel like I was in only learning mode and not really standing up for myself mode or like what I wanted to do as a creative. And um, yeah, I just don't like that moment because of the compromise. So yeah, that's the story behind Ote, my least favorite song, but not the worst song in the world, just my least favorite song. And I hate the video. I hate that. It didn't age well. It didn't age well. It never, it didn't age well. Maybe if TikTok was popping back then, it would have been something. But other than that, it's your boy MOD. I think I'm gonna do uh I'm gonna do the love love story next. The love love story is a goodie. The love love came about through a lot of love, pain, and trauma. Um yeah, stay tuned for episode two. Get this shit to like 5k like get me to at least 1k like let's be fucking realistic, right? Because y'all, you know, we don't always be together, but at least 1k. It's your boy. Bow! Not making no money off that music video. Because you went through a third party. What third party would you have? You know what? Mm -mm, we not doing it. Listen, um... I feel like uh, God damn. This is the first time I ever just wanted to say it, but just don't want to say what I want to say. Um, but I'm just going to say it. I think my the guy is a good artist. Uh, I think he makes amazing music, especially now. You can hear that confidence behind that music now. Um, but at the time, I think that he was looking at everybody, have all this money, do all this shit, and him not have that. And I completely understand where he's coming from. However, I don't think he fully used his situation for what it was. If Clarence was my best friend, nigga, we working. Okay? I know you gonna work with your girl, but you gonna work with me too. Because guess what? When we go in these fucking fancy ass restaurants, I don't need you paying for my food, nigga. I wanna get my own food. When we go in these designer stores, I'm not about to just watch y'all niggas buy all this designer without me getting none. I mean, shit, what's the point in having a team if we all ain't winning? You get what I'm saying? And that has been everybody's thing with him this whole time. Like, what's going on? Like, are you winning too? You know? And it's coming out that he was not. Now, we could say that that was his fault. Because maybe he wasn't 
putting forth that effort that he should have been. Right? Yo, Clarence, blah, 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 you got to do it. <laughs> Let's talk. Like, if, if I were to do that to Clarence, he would like that. That wasn't my best friend. You got, he's not my friend. He's not my best friend. But if DDG pulled that camera out in front of him, he fine. If Kai pulled that camera out in front of him, he fine. If your rage pulled that camera out in front of him, he's fine. And the list goes on because he has all these fucking friends, right? So, nigga, when I pull out my camera, it better not be a problem. I don't think that it was. I think that Mod made it a problem. Now, I could be absolutely wrong. Okay? But this is just my fucking opinion. It's no way in the fuck y'all, all y'all going to be winning around me and I'm not. It's no way. Now that shit, I'm not jacking at all. Like I personally wouldn't because I know my potential. I know what I bring to the table. I know who I am. And if you my best friend, nigga, how the hell you expect me to live in the mansion beside you? How? How you expect me to, to move in the same neighborhood? <laughs> Why the hell you in the video with a Rolex and I'm not? Something was off about that. Because, I mean, if anything, nigga, let me wear the Rolex that you ain't got bust down. Something is off. These fucking Virgos got a lot of fucking pride. And they, Clarence could have been like, yo, you want to wear my, hell no, nigga. Fuck, I look like wearing your watch. You want to wear my, hell no, nigga. Fuck, I look like wearing your, I'm sorry, honey's house. If I was mod. And that nigga walked up with a Gucci jacket. Hey, you got another Gucci jacket in the closet I can wear? Why am I spending my last $500? I'm that friend. Hey, I'm wearing a Gucci jacket for the shit. What you wearing? You ain't got nothing? I bet. Say less, bro. Ain't no motherfucking problem. Let me get the goddamn, uh, I, I got an off-white one. You want to fuck with it? Hell yeah. I bet. I'm going to make sure you feel like you with me, you know, but I'm going to just say this, y'all. I was not in their shoes. I was not in a house. I was not with them. I don't know what the fuck went on. So my, I got every right to feel how he feel. And so does Clarence, but this just, it's so much resentment here. This doesn't sound bitter. This sounds resentful. Like y'all motherfuckers wasn't with me. Y'all motherfuckers wasn't behind me. Y'all ain't have my back. That's what I hear. That's what I hear. And he ain't wrong for feeling that. Look where he is. Look where they at. You know what I'm saying? Something ain't right. But I feel like now he's taking a he's taking control of him his life. And that's why he had to put everybody to the side. I don't blame him. I mean, to the point where Clarence, like, I don't know what the fuck wrong with this nigga. I don't know what the, I, hopefully we talk again. I don't know. Like, how can you, as a grown man, how can you go to your nigga and be like, yeah, bro, I mean, goddamn, y'all wasn't looking out for me, so shit. <laughs> well, not, not how you could do that, but like, nigga, here you are with a Gucci jacket on. I got to go buy a, 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 a $500 outfit. It's like, maybe he wasn't speaking up. I don't know. It's not making sense. But that resentment and, and, Closed mouths just don't get fed, bro. And I'm going to just say this, though. I think Mod is on the way now. I think he needed to separate. Separation causes elevation. Sometimes you got to. If I, if me, being me, I will go sit around Kai. Your rage, Clarence. absolutely. fucking -lutely. But I'm not a man. I'm not a man. I know I be speaking from that point of view, but these niggas is men. They think totally different. They wired absolutely different. But I would sit around these niggas to get that knowledge, to know what they talking about. When you listen to them on videos, they be like, what the fuck? I get to go looking up what they doing. I'm like, oh, damn, that's how they doing that. Boom. Check off, you know, off my checklist. I, I have humility, you know. So I just feel like I'm chatting at this point, but. <sighs> Y'all let me know what you're thinking down in the comment section below. Um, I, I think Mod is 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 going to be uh, as amazing as he wants to be, you know. Um, if I was him, I would absolutely be a writer, though, because he's a good writer. And anybody with a good 
Like, why miss out on the bread for writing? Because you want to be in the spotlight. Get there. Like he said, put my foot in the door, but I could talk forever, y'all. Y'all let me know what you think down in the comment section below. Um, yeah, I want to actually know what y'all thinking, and I want I want to see it. I want to hear it, okay? Um, I hope my find his way. I hope he do. I think he on the way if he just stick to it, you know? That was another thing here. Come on, get off. Come on, get off. Come on. Consistency sales. That's why everybody's quote unquote sucking Clarence. He makes sure he look good every time. And if that's all the nigga got, that's all the nigga got. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? But y'all, let me hang up. I'm hanging up. <laughs>